Um, your point is that if the people faced with the question were to, you know, start with a fresh sheet of paper, look at the Middle East, they could arrive at a compromise that they as individuals might find um, uh, put them way ahead and is more profitable than the situation that they are continually finding themselves in. Yeah. And that might be the case. On the other hand, the reason that they don't is that historically those who have have been outcompeted by those who haven't. So the point is, the universe and the fact that it refuses to solve that conflict is telling us that there is some reason that people who take that prospect seriously um, are not actually correct in some at least metaphorical way. So in other words, what is it to have a sentimental attachment to some piece of territory somewhere? That sounds completely irrational. On the other hand, that sentimental attachment may result in you continuing for 500 or 1,000 or 2,000 years, whereas if you surrendered it because it was irrational, you might go extinct. Now, should you care that your lineage is gonna go extinct? Maybe, arguably not. On the other hand, it's hard to imagine that what you're saying is so thoroughly grounded that it can justify causing people to alter their perspective on value in such a way that it might actually drive them extinct. It's not well, clear but, that that's a good clearly, thing. Clearly, I mean, secularism, I mean, we're, we're talking about the fringe here. We're talking about, the, the, when you're talking about, in this case, the Israeli settlers and the Palestinian terrorists, right? Like that is, that is there's, it, we should all breathe a sigh of relief that that doesn't, that, that that kind of passion and attachment to land doesn't characterize most of humanity. It you does know, if, if you're trying to defend your house. So, well, but, but that's it, it, can it's I, kind can of I a different topic. back on yes. Jordan? Because I think this is, this is where, this is where the, the crux of it is. Well, so what, if, if yes. we follow the idea that this is actually some, that the seemingly sentimental and irrational attachment to the piece of land is some sort of meta-rationality, which sounds like your perspective, then we are now confronted with the question of, all right, if it is an evolved kind of meta-rationality that is being manifest in stories that cause people to behave in ways that Sam sees as clearly irrational, then we are stuck with the naturalistic fallacy which is to say, so for those who don't know, the naturalistic fallacy says that just because something is doesn't mean it ought, right? The fact that selection favors something doesn't make it good. When the Aztecs sacrifice their enemies, it is good for continuing Aztecness, but it may not be good in some absolute moral sense. Yeah. So here's the question for you. Yeah. You're arguing for, a, I think, an evolutionarily very viable explanation for religious belief and dogma, but aren't you stuck with the downside of it, where much of what is encoded in that way may actually be abhorrent morally yes, and consciously? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what no do doubt we, about it. What do we do about well, that? Well, this is this is exactly. Do you have why a sorting I, algorithm? Yes. What it's is I'm it? I'm trying to get to it. Okay. Okay, so this is actually why I asked Sam this question. It wasn't it wasn't an attack. It's like. Okay, so look, people have these belief systems, Christian, Muslim, Jew, we'll say for that, and you're saying abandon those, let's say, to, to, and move towards this transcendent rationality. It's like, okay, two problems. Um, it's not so easy to abandon a belief system because you end up in the morally relativist nihilist pit, and well, that's a problem. One okay. doesn't have to. And, well, and many people, don't. people tend to, and it, so it's a well, very no, major I mean, problem. It's just not, I mean, so, that, No, no, that, they don't have to. Look, that's, wait, look, wait. Sam, that's, they, that's an empirical right. claim that we would, we would have to find out whether that's true, well, they but there's they a lot of evidence against that. Yeah, well, there's plenty of evidence for it too, but it's beside the point to some degree, because I, that, isn't, that isn't something that I want to quibble about. There, perhaps there are, trans, there are transitional paths, and sometimes people find a collapse of their faith actually freeing. It's certainly the yeah. case that many of the people who are, are, are happy about what you're doing have found exactly that in what you've been saying, and more power to you, and so I'm, I'm not willing to dispute that.